Wives, the Vicon team wanted me to sing you a special song, so here we go. Two hours of run in my mouth gets me in an eight by twelve dog house. I'm a man of wives with no wives. I'm the king of the road. Happy birthday to you. Hey everyone, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It is Friday, June 23rd, 2023. And I think, I think, I think we have a hint here from Cody that's as big a hint as we can get because he says he has no wives. I was shocked. Now, here's the deal. He did a cameo on his cameo where you can buy one from him for $150 for... 56 cent seconds and he sang a song to this woman about how he has been running his mouth and now he has found himself with no wives the interesting thing is the videos were filmed at a spot where it doesn't look like it's his home with robin it's not a house it doesn't have like it looks like a log home and cody doesn't own any log homes and yeah so this kind of matches some of the weird things that Cody's been doing online and some of the, the hints that have been dropped. And I think there's trouble in paradise with Cody and Robin. So let's dive into this topic. Before we do, can you please do me a big favor and give me a thumbs up? Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed by clicking on the subscribe button down below. Make sure to click on the comment, uh, make sure to click on the bell if you would like to get notified of any time I go live or new content loads. Make sure to leave a comment if you have something to say and obviously share this video with your friends. So, Cody Brown and Robin, there's been this weird like illusion, like hints dropped on Robin's Pinterest hints dropped on Cody's cameo and then this recent filing where Cody basically signed that he owned property sole and separate from Robin on property he had previously owned with Robin and he moved that over with Janelle and this choice I thought was weird because Obviously, this is a married couple. Uh, Robin is the kind of woman that if there are no other wives involved with Cody, why at this point would he need anything sold and separate? Obviously, Janelle is on these parcels, so clearly, you know, part of this is Janelle's asset, but at the same time, he's a married man, so why would he need these sold and separate? That was like one of my first indications, like, okay, something is seriously happening here. But then I was over on Robin's Pinterest and I know like Pinterest can mean a lot of things, but I just noticed that she was like pinning things that made it seem like there was things going on. Like she was talking about projections where she pinned something that says, don't take anything personally. Nothing others do is because of you. What others say and do is projection of their own reality. When you are immune to the opinions and actions of others, you won't be the victim of needless suffering. We all know that Cody loves to project and there's been hints for a long time. There's actually been some stories in the media that they've been struggling because of what's been going on in their marriage and because of like what Cody's been going through with his uh, splits. She also posted this, happiness is a choice, not a result. Nothing will make you happy until you choose to be happy. No person will make you happy unless you decide to be happy. Your happiness will not come to you it can only come from you, which was another one. She's also been pinning about how she's having a spirituality revolution where she doesn't, she's like sort of defying religion and says that religion is for people who fear hell, spirituality is for people who have been there. And then one of her last ones that I thought was really, I was really telling is as you grow older, you realize there is a role for everyone in your life, everyone you meet in life. Some will test you, some will use you, some will love you, and some will teach you. But the ones who tr are truly important are the ones who bring out the best in you. They are the rare and amazing people who remind you why it's worth it. There's been a lot of like just vague postings about issues with work, 
issues with projectors, issues with faith, issues with the family, being a scapegoat, choosing happiness. She also claims that she's in survival mode. Little things can set you off and feel overwhelming. You feel like you're existing rather than living. You feel more tired physically and emotionally. Your memory and concentration are suffering. You feel a lack of motivation and passion. You want to withdraw, isolate from others. You feel out of control and anxious. So she's claiming she is in survival mode. There's a lot that tells me that things are not going well in their marriage. So Cody, this is what she's putting out on her Pinterest. And then Cody is doing videos where he's talking to people about you know, like a couple days ago, we talked about how he did this cameo and he said, you know, he would love to be around his people that love him. But at the same time, uh, if he had it, if he could do what he wanted on his birthday, he would go drive by himself and listen to music. But then this recent one, he literally says he's a man with no wives. So check it out. Wives, the Vicon team wanted me to sing you a special song. So here we go. Two hours of run in my mouth gets me in an eight by 12 dog house. I'm a man of wives with no wives. I'm the king of the road. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> and I hope you have, of course, your love tank filled. This is what we want on everybody's birthday is a special day. You get your love tank filled. Two hours of running his mouth gets him in an eight by 12 dog house. 8 by 12 isn't very big, by the way. That's a pretty small room. Not sure where he's staying. And he says, I'm a man of wives with no wives. So he's not with Christine anymore. He's not with Janelle anymore. And he's not with Mary anymore. So obviously he's running his mouth with, with his wife, Robin. And now he's in the doghouse with her and has no wives. So there's that part. And then... In a separate one, which I'll show you, he talks about how he's thanking this person for watching the show and wants them to keep watching even though it's really sad. Now, thanks for being a fan of the show. I appreciate your loyalty and I really hope that you continue watching even though it's so sad now. Anyway, from me to you, lots of peace. Both of these cameos are obviously filled, filmed at the same time because he's in the same outfit, same setting. So the first one, he's all like, I'm running my mouth. I'm in an 8x10 doghouse and I have no wives. The next one is, thanks for your loyalty and watching the show, even though it's so sad. So right now, they're filming season 18. I think they've been filming this whole time. And if it goes off without a hitch the way it should, the season should debut in September. Because of everything that's being filmed right now, it's highly improbable that this will make this season. They left off at the end of 2021, in the end of last season. Uh, they didn't even get into 2022. And they film constantly, which is weird. So they're always filming. They don't recap. They don't do like, well, you've been gone. This is what's been going on in my life. They just like pick up the next season as though nothing's happened. So it gets further and further behind. So if something happened with him and Robin, it might not even show up for another season. Season 19. Cody and Robin's relationship has been very much this relationship built on excitement uh, exhilaration, newness, and the fact that this wife would get him into the celestial kingdom. That this wife would sort of put him over the edge of the three wives that you need to be in the celestial kingdom. But they got married because of their faith. They got married because of their common belief in polygamy. She was picked to join this family, groomed, I would say, in a way, uh, by Mary. They develop a friendship. All of these promises are made to her, regardless of what you think about Robin. Women in the system don't have the same amount of power as men. She joins because she says she has a testimony and she wants to be in plural marriage. Suddenly, she is having a, I don't know, a crisis of faith 
and she's no longer religious, though spiritual, and she believes in God, but it sounds like they're detracting and getting away from Mormon fundamentalism. If your relationship has been built on a common belief that you're marrying a man to get into heaven and you're doing this because it's a plural family and there's a testimony to do this, even if you tell yourself you love them, it could also just simply be because you're doing it for religion. When they were on a panel discussion about with the other people that left polygamy, Robin and Mary kind of said like they wouldn't be doing this if they didn't believe in polygamy, if they didn't believe in their faith to do this. Even though Robin and Cody's relationship has always appeared to be one of being soulmates, I don't and have never seen it that way. She, to me, looked like a woman that she was very clear about what she wanted. She wanted a man to take care of her. She wanted a man to take care of her kids. She didn't care what they looked like. All she wanted was a family man that was in a plural family that was part of her faith that would take care of her and her kids. And that was it, and that was nice. And that's why she said she loved Cody. Cody liked her because she was obedient and submissive and would follow his rules and allow her to lead. And she would allow him to lead. I almost said allowed her to leave. Did you catch that? So a lot of their relationship has also been developed and sort of she has been on the receiving end of all of his affection and attention. And then he hasn't been able to target her for his anger because he had all these other women to yell at, fight at, and play uh, like the game of pinny, pitting, people, pitting people against each other in the narcissistic triangles and creating, you know, these people are not giving me supply, so he's getting supply from Robin and her friend, from her, Robin and her kids, and they're lifting him up and like obsessed with him, and yet he can then get his needs met by getting other people to like turn against each other, and he can like create this massive chaos, right? And narcissists can never just be settled in their like, they just, they, 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 they need a constant level of supply. And he's lost three women of his wives and he's not going to just stop being a narcissist. So eventually the people that are close to him are going to become his targets if they push back. If they don't give him what his needs are and they sort of deplete his supply, he's going to look other places for that supply. He's also going to start turning on that. She's not going to just become the scapegoat of the family. She's going to become his target. And he is going to try to find his needs elsewhere. So to me, I feel like Cody and Robin's relationship is like doomed. And I don't know how much more clear we need to get of him saying he has no wives. Now, I'll be clear that there has been no divorce records filed at all. Uh, no court cases, nothing. Cody hasn't, you know, there's been nothing filed there. I'll also be clear that there's been no cu child custody cases filed for Christine and, and Cody. Not in Utah, not in Arizona, nothing. Cody is legally married to Robin still. Their marriage was uh, in Nevada. He and Mary got divorced in Nevada. There's no court records in Arizona for divorce between him and Robin. There's no changes on their property for the home that they own that's the 4,500 square foot home that everyone calls a mansion and nothing's changed there. No properties are on the market, but they could very well be separated. He's not staying or that video, he's certainly not at his house. He's at a log home. I don't know if he's at the log home up the road that like is sort of at the entrance of Coyote Pass and he's like hanging out with his friends. I don't know if he's staying with the producers. Eight by 12, that's a small room. <laughs> I don't know, but Cody and Robin's marriage, it sounds like is on the fritz, on the edge. It's over. Maybe it's all for show. I don't know. But to me, I see this relationship ending and it is not uncommon when all of these families blow up and they all leave their religion for all the partners to leave one another, for the men to leave all of their wives and none of the wives to go with him. Because once their testimony is gone and they no longer believe in this garbage, they don't stick together because they realize their common thread was the religion. It was the only reason they felt like they needed to be together. And once you take that thread out, it unravels all aspects of their marriage and their relationships. 
so it's just it's over at that point we'll have to keep our eyes on the court records and the court dockets and the property transactions happening in arizona but i would suspect that this marriage will dissolve in the coming months mark my words and if i'm wrong i'll be wrong tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below bye guys